What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, undefeated British Lady or Heavyweight World Champion Tyson the Gypsy King Fury states in a recent interview to promote his upcoming highly anticipated title rematch with undefeated WBC Olympic bronze medalist, world heavyweight champion, Deontay the Bronze Bomber Wilder, in which Tyson Fury had this to say. Tyson Fury stated that uh, should he get past me, meaning Deontay Wilder get past him, and this subject came up due to the fact that uh, he was asked about how would Anthony Joshua, unified British heavyweight world champion, would fare with Deontay Wilder in a future showdown. And Tyson Fury had this to say, quote, he said, if he gets past me, Anthony Joshua is in trouble. I don't even see him getting to the third round. In fact, I believe I know that Deontay Wilder stops him within the second round. He said the style and the um, game plan in which he used to defeat an out of shape, uh, dis uh, disrespectful to the sport, Andy Ruiz Jr. will not work against Deontay Wilder. He's six foot seven. He's athletic. He's quick, and we all know he has that dynamite in his right hand, that power in his right hand. Uh, so he said that you know um, he believes that Anthony Joshua's style, whether he used the style, he said it was unpleasing the style he used to defeat Andy Ruiz, which is uh, ironic because that's the style that Tyson Fury himself uses, right? I think at that point in time, he's just poking fun at Joshua, seeing as though Joshua uh, said that and stated that when Tyson Fury defeated uh, Vladimir Klitschko, who was the reigning heavyweight champion, unified heavyweight champion, he said it was unpleasing because all uh, Tyson Fury did was run around the ring. Uh, so he said, uh, if you're a heavyweight, you're supposed to stand and fight, right? Uh, they want to see knockouts. This is what Anthony Joshua said leading up into his fight with Vladimir Klitschko. Uh, so he was, uh, it was asked uh, how, what he thought about Tyson Fury and Vladimir Klitschko fight. Uh, because obviously Vladimir Klitschko fought Anthony Joshua nearly two years after he lost to Tyson Fury. And so that's what he had to say. So I believe that that's just a, um, a, a way to get back at Anthony Joshua by stating so. Uh, stating what he stated because we know Tyson Fury uses that style all the time. That's his normal style, right? Hit and not get hit, right? Box and hold. That's Tyson Fury's style. Uh, so he stated that it was unpleasing. But nonetheless, he said that Andy Ruiz was out of shape. He was nearly 21 stones, which is uh, 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 200. He was 283.6 pounds, 284 pounds. And then uh, there's reports that the unofficial weight on fight night was actually 302. So he topped the scales at 302, right? So, uh, meaning he nearly gained another 20 pounds after the weigh-in. So, you know, uh, um, with that said, you know, he said that uh, he usually uses the plodding forward, forward style, meaning this is what Fury had to say. He said Andy, Anthony Joshua usually uses the plod forward style. You know, he usually come forward with no head movement. He said uh, that style definitely won't work against Deontay Wilder. And he said the movement is not going to work against Deontay Wilder. He said every time, he said the movement looked good, right? He said, but as soon as he stopped his feet, he said that Andy Ruiz Jr. had him bobbing and weaving and uh, uh, wobbling all over the place. He said with just a few punches he did land in the exchanges, the few exchanges they did have. So he stated that, you know, um, uh, uh, the first time Deontay Wilder hits him, it's over. He said he proved that he's chinny. He doesn't have a chin. Uh, uh, his chin is made of glass. So he said as soon as he gets hit, especially by somebody like Deontay Wilder, that's all she wrote. He said getting hit by Andrew Ruiz and other fighters with less power showed us that uh, he's chinny. Imagine if he gets hit by Deontay Wilder. And uh, so this is what I end quote. So this is what I have. To, this is my thoughts, right? I have to agree with Tyson Fury. That has been my sentiments exactly when it comes to Anthony Joshua and Deontay Wilder. Uh, I believe with Anthony Joshua's style that he used against Andrew Weiss, uh, he would fade against Deontay Wilder because there's mental pressure 
there's more mental pressure when you face Deontay Wilder than facing Andrew Weeze. Why? Because Andrew Weeze doesn't have one punch knockout power like Deontay Wilder does. Now he did hit uh, Anthony Joshua behind the ear on, on the temple with the left hook and got the start. The party started. Got Joshua wobbling around and all things like that and things of that nature. But still, at the end of the day, you know, um, he doesn't have the one punch knockout power, and he's six inches shorter than Anthony Joshua, right? Uh, Deontay Wilder is actually taller with longer arms or about the same length arms, and he's definitely more athletic and he's definitely quicker. So the style he used moving around the ring, Deontay Wilder will be able to cut off the ring. He was cutting off the ring against Tyson Fury, who has much quicker feet than Anthony Joshua. He's taller than Anthony Joshua, and he has quicker hands than Anthony Joshua. Um, and he's just a bigger guy than Anthony Joshua is, right? Uh, now, you look at the physique, obviously, Anthony Joshua is chiseled, and Tyson Fury is not, right? So, uh... But he's a bigger a bigger guy and he's more athletic than Anthony Joshua. Now, I believe that Joshua has more power than Fury, but he's just not quicker. So, at times, Josh, Fury was beating Wilder to the punch, where Joshua won't be able to do such a thing, right? And uh, that movement that he used won't work against Wilder because Wilder's quick enough, athletic enough, and long enough, lean enough, right, to be able to cut off the ring, and he's in shape. So, uh, he he's going to outlast Anthony Joshua, where Ruiz... Uh, that extra weight hindered him from being able to cut off the ring, point blank and period. It was just too much weight for him to move around with, to carry around in the ring and be able to be agile. Deontay Wilder is going to be agile. He's going to be in shape. He's going to cut the ring off. Uh, he's going to target the body, which is uh, going to slow Joshua down as well. Uh, he's going to do little subtle feints and use the jab, which is going to um, cause Anthony Joshua to freeze and stop. And then he's going to land the right hand or the left hook. I believe, me personally, I believe it's going to be the left hook because Joshua's going to be so uh, um, conscious of the straight right hand that he's not going to pay attention to the left hook. That's what a lot of fighters, when they face Wilder, they just don't pay attention to his left hand. Uh, he caught Tyson Fury with a right hand left hook, which dropped him in the 12th round. Um, so the left hook, I believe, is what's going to catch uh, Joshua and get the party started. And ironically enough, that's what got the party started with Joshua when he fought Andy Ruiz Jr. So I believe that that's what's going to come into play as well. He's just not going to be able to withstand uh, um, Deontay Wilder's power, point blank and period. Uh, there was times where Joseph Parker buzzed him, uh, Dillian White buzzed him, Vladimir Klitschko dropped him. We know what Andy Ruiz did to him. You know, the proof is in the pudding. We've seen this before. Carlos Tackle buzzed him. You know, so we've seen this before, right? Against guys that have far less power than Deontay Wilder. Uh, and so, imagine. And these guys haven't hadn't all landed totally flush. Uh, Alexander Povetkin buzzed them. You know, and they didn't land completely flush on them. Imagine. Deontay Wilder don't even have to land. If he land with the same amount of uh, power, um, same amount of clean, clean cleanness that they did, it's over. Right? So, I have to agree with Tyson Fury. I, I personally think it goes four rounds, four or five rounds, because Anthony Joshua is just going to be cautious, and Deontay Wilder is going to be patient. So he carries the fight. Deontay Wilder carries the fight, right? He just don't come out and uh, look to explode. Now, um, Dominic Brazil made a, um, a great mistake by uh, when they, after they coming off a break, he didn't uh, properly prepare for the right hand. He flinched, he reacted to the left, and Wilder uh, threw the right hand, and it was all she wrote, right? Uh, same thing with um, uh, Luis Ortiz. He blinded him with the left hand and caught him with the right hand. Uh, so with that, that's not going to happen with Anthony Joshua because he's going to be far more cautious. So it's going to take time. Deontay Wilder is going to take his time. He carries the fight. And that's what's going to happen with Joshua. So, But I have to agree with Tyson Fury. Should Deontay Wilder get past uh, Tyson Fury, which I'm personally expecting him to do, I believe that's all she wrote for Anthony Joshua, right? I believe that Anthony Joshua has talked himself into a corner. I believe his promoter, Matchroom CEO and promoter Eddie Hearn, uh, has talked himself into a corner when it comes to Deontay Wilder, and they're going to have to face Deontay Wilder. They're going to have to face the music, point blank and period. So, you know, uh, they've been pre preaching to the choir. Now they're going to have to answer uh, the call, point blank and period, right? They've been ringing the bell. Now they're going to have to answer the door. And so I believe that... Um, Anthony Joshua's going to be in trouble as well when it comes to Deontay Wilder. Point blank and period. Styles make fights, and his style is all wrong for Anthony Joshua.
But uh, let's see how it plays out. Like I stated, we all know Anthony Joshua's more, more than likely going to have two fights before he even gets to the Wilder fight. Wilder obviously has to get past this huge hurdle in Tyson Fury. So that's all Deontay Wilder's focus on, and rightfully so. But uh, that's all I got for y'all. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy Blue, Bluebird Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the bell icon, and get all the new notification. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Bus Sports TV, all one word. Y'all already know what it is. Shout out to the entire LDBC. Shout out to New Media. Shout out to Black Media Road. Make sure you like and share these videos. That's all I got for y'all. Peace.